Hello everybody, God bless you. I am Prophet Shenik Beckford and today I want to share something with you that the Lord has shared with me. Um, so I think it was yesterday I was I saw on social media and I was told that there was um there was a flooding that took place in Westgate, um somewhere along Westgate Hills in Montego Bay. And so I really wanted to share on that. If you guys, if if there's anybody that know me, you know that I'm not one of those persons that you know share um doom and gloom or anything like that. That, and I live in Montego Bay so I want to share this with you but before I go any further please make sure that you are subscribed make sure you like this video share with somebody if you have intercessors share with them and let's just not let's just not watch this video but let's watch so that we can intercede and pray for the city all right guys hello welcome back to this channel so as I said um just yesterday there was a flooding that took place and um a few persons actually got washed away i believe that there was a little girl that actually um lost her life from this and so you know god rest god god bless her soul may her soul rest in peace with the lord so as i said before in the introduction of this video i live in montego bay um i don't know how longer i will live in montego bay um i have some i have some good content coming for you guys with um you know prophet's diary and all of that but i live in montego bay and i've always seen people have always been sharing um you know prophecies that there will be floodings there will be earthquakes and you know so many um things will be happening in montego bay and because i live here it's not that i don't accept these words it's not that i don't believe these words but if I live here as a prophet of God, when I hear these things, when I see these things, then naturally I'm going to pray about it. And so there are many things that I have been praying about. There are many things that the Lord has revealed and showed me as someone living in the city of Montego Bay that I have been praying about. I'm not one that will always come and share things um, to spread fear or, you know, to spread any form of fear or anything like that. But I will see things and I will just take it and pray about it. So there are some things I don't always come on the scene. I say I prophesied it and because I prophesied it then it's going to come to pass no that's not what prophecy is about but um enough of that let me just jump into it so um I think it was on Monday today is Wednesday on no I'm sorry I think it was Sunday night a Sunday night I woke up and I shared this with my husband and I shared with someone else and I was saying that I had a dream that there were three pestilences there were three plagues or pestilence that actually took place in Montego Bay no the first one that I saw were snakes I saw snakes in the city of Montego Bay as a matter of fact let me backtrack let me backtrack all the way back no um some things happen that I will not share with you guys as yet I will share in prophets diary that's where that content and that information truly belongs I had a dream first and foremost that I was walking through Montego Bay and while walking through Montego Bay I saw where there were people that were just falling people were just people were falling and people were already laying on the ground just completely dead and it was something that you know it just stirred me very wrong in the dream as I saw this began to happen and I was just walking through the city of Montego Bay wondering what is happening and I remember that there was someone that was walking me through showing me the dead bodies on the ground like there were so many dead bodies it was like ants flies so many dead bodies and the person that was walking me and showing me what was happening I never saw the person I just knew that the person was there with me showing me what was happening and I remember I asked the person what happened and there was the person was not talking audibly but it's almost like I heard what the person was saying and he just showed me the people that were dead and it was as a result of their their unrepentance their unforgiveness their sin their lack of passion for God and um, as I saw it I I've just felt so broken within myself as I said I have a thing for I have a thing for Montego Bay and it's just one of the hardest things I don't know it's just one of the hardest things but it just it broke my heart in that vision and when I when I share prophets diary, you guys will understand more. But it broke my heart in that vision to see that, and immediately I fell on my I fell on my knees and I went down on my face and I just started to pray for the city of Montego Bay. And I woke up and I shared with my husband and I said that something is happening and we definitely need to pray for the city. Now fast forward, that was last week. Fast forward to a, a Sunday, I had a dream that there were three plagues that came to the city of Montego Bay. The first one were snakes. I saw snakes 
snakes. They weren't huge snakes. They were like little tiny snakes that were in Montego Bay. When I saw it, I said, oh, I said in the dream that, oh, this is a small enemy. Oh, this is a very small enemy that we can pray and destroy. After I saw that, after I saw a small snake, I saw a, I saw, um, I, I don't know if it was a wolf or a fox, but I saw one of these black wolf-like or fox-like creatures. It was extremely huge. I'm telling you, this thing was this huge as far as my hands are this thing was this huge and there was this person that had a leash there was a person that had a leash on this this wolf or fox big black animal and as as i looked as i looked it's almost like i was standing at a distance and i was looking what was happening and that thing was just that thing was just growling with spits and everything just coming down his face and it, it's like you know when the bible says that the devil is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour that's exactly what this thing looked like like he just it just wanted to get a hold of something or somebody and he would just tear it to pieces and i thought man if this person if this demon or person who holding this thing ever let it go or if it ever breaks free from this leash because i never understood how a small leash could be holding such a huge animal such a huge thing and i said i said whoa this is just completely crazy immediately after i saw that i saw one more thing i saw rats I was at this place and I was looking once again I was just observing it's like I was just walking through and just observing the things that were happening in Montego Bay and then the third and the final thing I saw I saw rats and I'm not talking about two three four rats I I didn't see them rather I apologize I didn't see but I heard rats I heard rats it was like there was a little vent or a little it's, it's like um uh, underneath ground it's like when you go underneath a bridge and there's a little hole that they're they're coming from a, they're coming from somewhere i don't know but they were coming down this little pipe thing like underground to come up to the surface of the streets and the roads and the sound that i heard it was a sound of a thousands it was a sound of thousands of rats that were just coming and it sounded like rushing waters it was so much that it sounded like a rushing of waters and for a second in the dream i thought are these rats because it sound like rats and i know it is rats based on what i hear in the spirit while in the dream but at the same time it was so many that it sounded like it was water that was coming that like it was floods that was coming and i remember that people just started to run for their lives the next thing i knew i found myself on the road heading to falmouth trelawney and people were just trying to evacuate from montego bay based on everything that was happening and that was it that was the end of the vision and i woke up and you know i just i told my husband i shared with somebody else and i just took the time and i started i just prayed about it i just prayed and i seek the face of god about it but then i saw somebody made a post because i'm still talking to god about it still praying about the city of montego bay and i remember today i was on facebook and i saw somebody made a post with the mermaid that was put up in montego bay and um you know when the first time i saw this mermaid in the vision i shared it at church and i told the people that this is an altar that is being raised in the city of montego bay this is a demonic altar that is being raised in the city of montego bay and if there's an altar it means that legal ground and legal access is being given legal rights is being given for marine spirits for demonic um strongholds strong men for marine spirits and all of these crazy vicious demonic um species or whatever you call them to come and invade the city of Montego Bay. Um, Montego Bay, I, I've had the privilege of ministering in Kingston and ministering in Montego Bay. And Montego Bay is a completely different atmosphere from Kingston. It's something I'm always saying. And I'm not trying to strike any comparison or anything. But I do believe that God wants to call the city of Montego Bay to a place of prayer. Montego Bay people, we need to come into serious prayer. We need to, I don't know if it's a day of fasting, a couple of days of fasting whatever it is whether it will be something that will be corporate it is crazy that i don't feel i don't feel the unity in montego bay there's no unity of churches there's no brotherhood of churches coming together it's every man for himself it's every man fighting his own battles doing his own thing and so i believe that god wants to change this in montego bay where churches will come together churches will unite together it's not about it's not about you being church of god 
God. It's not about you being church of prophecy. It's not about who is Baptist, who is united, who is Pentecostal, whatever it is. We have to come together as a body of Christ, join together where we can pray together, intercede together for the city. It's not about your church. It is about the city of Montego Bay that all of us live within. And so we have to come to a place of unity, brotherhood, fellowship, and more importantly, a place of prayer. There's so much that is happening in Montego Bay where bloodshed is concerned. For the couple of years that I've been here and doing ministry, pastor in Montego Bay, I don't even find it necessary to prophesy or to share anymore that this year expect a couple of deaths or, you know, road fatalities, accidents, bloodshed or anything, especially along the Rose Hall um, part of road. I don't share these things anymore because it is something that is out there. People already know this. And this is something that we have to pray about. Who is actually, where is the prophet in Montego Bay that's actually taking up this call and saying, hey, I'm going to pray about this. I started, I started a work in Montego Bay and unfortunately, um, Unfortunately, it did not go the way I hoped it would. I'm still seeking God where Montego Bay is concerned. I'm truly seeking God where Montego Bay is concerned. There's a vision the Lord has given me for a revival in the park. And this is something that I hope when I get to that place of formalizing it, that, you know, people can come out and uh, let's pray together. And it's not about me. It's not about a church thing. It's not about anything like that. It's just a matter of people coming together and pray together. And that's the thing. We find so much to say, oh, Oh, this pastor wants people for the church that pastor wants this that pastor wants that I'm at a place where I have nothing to gain and I have nothing to lose except just to gain more of God and so my plea my cry my admonition to any minister any prophet any intercessor if you're watching this video is come together and pray whether you're going to come together in your church and pray this set is going to come together in their church and pray but let us just be you united. Let us preach the gospel of repentance. Montego Bay needs Jesus. Montego Bay does not need another church. <laughs> There's so many churches. Montego Bay does not need another prophet. We just need to be united. And that's the issue with Montego Bay. It's an issue worldwide. It's an issue all over the country. But this is something that we need in Montego Bay. Unity. We need brotherhood in Montego Bay. And so, you know, the Lord is just calling the city to repentance. There's so much that has happened and there's so much more that will happen if we do not pray and seek the face of God. The Bible says that righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach to any man. Now, these three plagues that I saw, as I said, that there was a flooding just yesterday where person, person or persons have actually died. That's one thing. And I do believe that there's two more things that the Lord will do. However, I am praying earnestly. I'm not speaking this as a prophecy. I'm just speaking this as something that I foresaw in a vision. No, it is my it is my responsibility that I will take this into prayer. And I'm not just keeping this to myself, but I'm sharing this with you because some of you have family members in Montego Bay, you have friends in Montego Bay, you work in Montego Bay, you have a church in Montego Bay, whatever it is. We're just I'm just spreading this so that we can pray together on behalf of the city of Montego Bay. God loves the nation, God loves the city of Montego Bay, and you know, He He does not want anybody to fall prey to the hands of the enemy or to be destroyed by the, the plans or the assignments of the enemy of hell. And so God wants us all to be saved. He wants us all to be delivered. He wants us all to be covered under his precious blood. And so when God reveals something, it is it is 99% possibility that he intends to heal it. He reveals because he wants to heal or he reveals because he wants to give us a warning. So whatever it is that God is doing in this time concerning these three plagues, I saw a month ago be let us just stay in prayer earnestly if you are on this live stream you're not a if you are watching this right now you're not a christian i do hope that you will you just surrender your life to god just surrender your life to god there's there's too much to gain to lose um if you don't have a home church find a church in montego bay to visit um there's so many churches in montego bay that you can you know just visit give your heart to god worship do not forsake the assembly of the gathering take your family to the house of the lord and just serve god with all of your might and all of your life so i wanted to share this with you guys um hoping that we can pray and just see the lord on it for his will to be done so god bless you guys thanks for taking the time out to you know just listen to this 
um dream that i had to share with you guys god bless you thanks for watching please make sure you share like and subscribe god bless you and have a wonderful rest of the day